Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome back. It's Grant Wiley here from Worthington Publishing. I'm going to be doing a uh, what's in the box and how to play today on Lincoln. This isn't yet out, uh, available yet anywhere. It's going to be on Kickstarter next month, May, from um, Will at PSC Games. Uh, this is in partnership with us here at Worthington Publishing. This is Martin Wallace's game on the American Civil War. Um, I haven't played this yet. We're going to go through the rules a little bit later after we go through the components. Um, but I will tell you that I have read the rules. This game is brilliant. It is a deck destruction game. When I first read it, I, I liked it um, just based on the concepts. It's um, simple. It's fast playing. But there is a lot of thought to this game. Um, and we'll walk through that here in a minute. But let's go through the box. Um, because I want to show you what's in here. First off, this is a pre-production copy, but it is already beautiful. I mean, when I opened it, this was as good as anything I've seen anywhere. Um, you got old Honest Abe here on the front, soldiers on the back fighting. This, I think Will had somebody specifically paint this. It looked gorgeous. Um, nice on the side, you get a nice overview, new approach to the American Civil War. Guys, the unique thing is this is a deck destruction game. You get the write-up, you get the board, see some of the cards and components. It's playable for two players, ages 14 and up, plays in 90 to 120 minutes. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here on components because I want to get into the meat of the game. So, what you get is you get a small rule booklet here. Uh, this looks pretty good. I am coming over the top of the camera. Gorgeous graphics, well laid out, shows you the cards, what's on the cards, the pieces, um, the game board. Um, the rules are well laid out, tells you how to start the game. I hate games that start you with like all kinds of noose and stuff. Tell me how to play the game. Good graphics, you can see throughout. We are at page 8. Page 9, 10, 11, 12, you're at combat, ending the game on page 14, and then a good explanation of the card actions. Okay, designer notes on the back, I always enjoy those. Uh, gives you a little idea on what was going on in Martin's head as he was designing this. Next up, a gorgeous, gorgeous board here. I love the board. Um, from Florida up into Pennsylvania. You can see all the important locations. Um, it's interesting. The North uh, wins victory if they control Vicksburg and Richmond. Um, the South wins the game in a variety of ways, normally by the Union not having certain victory point levels controlled um, by the when they reshuffle their deck. The lines here, and I'm going to zoom in it, it, when we show movement, uh, show movement areas. These are areas where your troops occupy. Nice hard mounted board, not real big. Um, there's a track here for the blockade and a track here for European intervention. Not likely, even Martin says that, but it's there. There was always that looming possibility. Um, if you look at the areas on the map, they're broken up into two sections. Either you control an area or it's contested. Units of both sides are there. Um, the numbers here add a defensive bonus when attacked from that. So if I move from Washington to Manassas and their Confederate troops here, there's a plus one bonus. Plus four if I go from Manassas to Richmond this way, or from Manassas to D.C. Um, so some interesting things. We'll discuss that in playing the game. These are all your pieces, guys. You've got control markers, forts, armies, represented by one, two, and three strength units. And that's it. Um, the units are single-sided. So it's a very simple game, but guys, there is a lot of depth here. I will tell you that a lot of depth looking at it. And we're going to go through this as we go through gameplay. You get a couple of tokens and the rules it says black tokens, these are white, it's okay. Um, they're tokens, they, they're markers for the game board.
the cards. I'm just going to open the Confederate deck right now. But these are nice, well laid out, good feeling cards. Um, you can see they've got different pieces of information. This is deck one. Fort, one card. It shows you how many cards that you got to discard to play this card. Uh, Confederate Army, two. General here, three. But this also allows rail movement. So cards have multiple uses on them. And you have to spend cards. The interesting thing here is this is a deck building deck destruction game. So what's going to happen is you're going to play these cards to build armies, to build forts, to, to use your generals in battle. But once you use them, they're out of the game. So you don't get them back. Um, the Confederates start stronger than the Union. And as the game goes, the union gets stronger as you shuffle in the, the next deck. Every time you got to do a reshuffle, you add, a, add the new cards to the deck. Um, some cards, when you play them, you don't remove them from the game. They get shuffled back in. It depends on how you use them and what you use them for. But guys, this is all there is to this game. Um, this is brilliant. We're going to pop the union card and... I'll show you how to play in a minute. We're going to do a different video for that, but I just wanted to show you the components initially. And again, the cards are all very well done. Um, I'll shove these in my pocket. You, can, you get the Union and Confederate decks. Um, the Union deck is much bigger than the Confederate deck. And again, you're going to be adding these cards in as you go. There's your Confederate deck. And here's your Union deck. So the Union is going to get stronger as the game goes. The Confederate has to either strike early or hang on for, a, you know, play their cards wisely. But again, these are starting cards. This is the second reshuffle. You put these cards in. Um, let's see. There's the first reshuffle. So slowly the union builds. And what's going to happen is, again, these represent generals. So you're going to get weak generals in the first draw. And then in the second, first and second draw, you're going to start adding better and better generals, better and better troops. So, again, that's just a brief overview on the components. Um, we'll go through gameplay here in the next video. I do want to let you know, as a subscriber to this, to my YouTube channel, I'm going to be giving this game away to a lucky YouTube subscriber on April 22nd. I'm going to be doing a draw. This game won't be on the street or available for probably three to four months. I'm going to give you my copy, my preview copy. It will be played. I'm going to tell you it's going to come punched and bagged. I take good care of games. We're going to sleeve the cards for you. It'll come. and uh, But some lucky viewer. YouTube subscriber, you got to subscribe. I just gave away three copies of Guns of Galicia to a YouTube subscriber. On April 22nd, we're doing a drawing for Lincoln. So, um, he's sending out a, a limited number of preview copies of this. I'm, I'm sending mine out to a YouTube subscriber, and then we'll be sending out some other reviewer copies uh, to guys like Marco. So, guys, thank you for viewing. Please go below, subscribe. This is your chance to win this game. And hang on and we'll be doing a gameplay video.